Kia ora everyone, today we are going to learn about solids and what makes a solid special. But first, let's reflect on what we learned in lesson 1, starting with what is matter? Matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. Everything you can see and touch is made up of matter. Here are some examples of matter, like the food that we eat, things we love to play with, things we use at school, the air that we breathe. Everything around us is made up of matter. There are three main states of matter, solids, liquids and gases. Solids are rigid and keep their shape. They do not flow like liquids. Liquids change their shape and flow. If we put them in a container, they will take the same shape as the container. Gases can spread out and change their shape. Sometimes we cannot see gases. This is matter, 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 this is matter. If we took a very powerful microscope and looked at matter, we would see that all matter is made up of tiny little particles called atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. Scientists have found out that the difference between a solid, liquid and a gas is that the atoms in a solid are tightly packed and don't move. That's why you couldn't walk through a wall. The atoms are too tightly packed so you can't move past them. The atoms in liquids are still connected to each other, but not as tightly as in solids. The atoms can slide past each other. That's why you can swim in water, because the atoms are free to slide past when you move. And the atoms and gas are not held together at all, so they can move about freely. That's why you can drive or move through fog. The atoms are moving about far more freely than in water. So we can move through fog or air without much effort at all. Sir Ernest found out that all atoms have three parts. This middle bit called the nucleus, which is made up of protons and neutrons, and around the outside a cloud of electrons. This is important information because the universe is full of all sorts of different atoms, each with a different number of these protons, neutrons and electrons. Each different atom is called an element. But let's recap all that. All matter is made from atoms, atoms are the building blocks of matter, and inside matter there are different kinds of atoms and we call them elements. The periodic table is a list of all the possible ingredients in the world that everything in the entire universe is made out of. Every single solid, liquid or gas in the world is made up of different combinations of elements from the periodic table. Today we are talking about solids. Solids keep their own shape instead of changing to the shape of their container. Atoms in a solid are closely stuck together, they cannot move, only vibrate. Did you know that humans are made of atoms too? A solid can be hard or soft, heavy or light. Some solids can be recycled into another solid, like plastic. Temperatures can change a solid to another state. For example, you can change a solid to a liquid by melting the solid. Today, from the periodic table, we are going to learn about the element called iron. This is what iron looks like. Iron is a solid. Iron was discovered thousands of years ago and was originally called ferrum. In Latin, ferrum means the holy metal. Iron is one of the most common metals on earth because it's easy to mine and to craft with. We use iron to make cars, trucks, buses, trains, refrigerators, washing machines, clothes dryers, stoves, dishwashers, utensils, fork spoons, knives and nails. Iron is the main ingredient or element used to make steel. Iron has a superpower. It's incredibly strong and important material we use in bridges, buildings and cars. But iron also has a weakness. Iron's major weakness is it rusts very easily. Can you see iron on the periodic table? It's number 26. Iron is the 26th element on the periodic table. Scientists have found out that if we mix iron with carbon to form steel, it makes it stronger. Can you help us decode the element of iron? Let's try it. Iron's name is iron. The atomic symbol for iron is a capital F with a lowercase e. The atomic number for iron is 26. How many electrons and protons does iron have? 26. How much does iron weigh? 55.84 deltons. It's been awesome learning with you about solids. See you next time.